Hey, I'm Dr. Charles, a.k.a. Coach MD, coming to you live for my Magical Monday broadcast. And as many of you know, I am a medical doctor. And why on earth would a medical doctor be talking about magical or magical Mondays? Well, I know that Mondays are very difficult for many people, including myself. It's the new week. It's the unknown. And often, oftentimes on Sunday night, we have difficulty falling asleep because the anticipation of what Monday is going to bring. So I, I do these Magical Monday broadcasts because I know that actually Monday is a day of the week where many people get sick. And in fact, many heart attacks happen Monday morning. I think the statistics uh, bear that out uh, is because of the stress and the anxiety and the anticipation of the work week. So what's a medical doctor doing, being concerned about any of this stuff? Well, uh, meaning any of the non-medical stuff. Well, I find it very medical, actually. And my whole goal is to deliver and to be the best doctor I can be in medicine, which means a truly holistic one. And that means understanding and balancing mind, body, and spirit. And so on that note, my Magical Monday broadcast is to get everyone, including myself, to be excited about the upcoming week, to look for the daily coincidences and the magic that happens every day and to be excited and let that energize us. So that's what these Magical Monday broadcasts are all about. So please uh, let me know where you're from, how long you've been tuning into Coach MD and where, how long we've been connected and, and definitely leave your comments. Um, I'll definitely, during the broadcast, I don't like to take the time to go through them. It's hard because I want to keep uh, keep it on track and not go too long. But I, I always go over everything you have to say, and I really appreciate that. But what I'd like to talk to you today about is intention. Now, we've all heard about intention, but the intention I'm going to like to discuss is the intention of doing good. And maybe some of you have seen recently in the news about this pastor who's trying to raise money to buy a private jet. And of course, our, our automatic instinct is, ah, God, what a greedy guy, just using his, his power and using the name of God, if you will, to raise money so for his personal gain. And that is a, definitely a reaction that many of us have, including, I have to admit, a little bit of myself has that reaction as well. And, you know, I, I think about times when, um, you know, when my children were younger and uh, my wife wasn't uh, a PTA, wasn't involved in the PTA and well, maybe a little bit, some other, other organizations involved uh, in, in the, and she's very active in our child's children's life, of course. But, uh, you know, I look at, at the battles that happen between PTA mothers and I often wonder uh, what was the motivation? What was the intention of the the mothers to become PTA mothers or, or to become the head, the president of the PTA? What was the intention? Was it to somehow, was it some elevation of oneself? Was it, is it to grant, to make one uh, be more grandiose or more recognized? Or was it, what was the intention? Was the intention truly of delivering uh, or, or advancing the, uh, the, the, um, the education of the children or the experience of the children. Well, I don't know. And who am I to judge? It's not for me to judge what the intent. I can't get into the head of the person who's doing that. But what I, I can do is think and, and say that the only person who knows the intention is the person doing the act. So the only person who, the only one who knows what the intention of this pastor is who wants to raise money for these private jets, the only person who really knows what the intention is, what is, is the person. And um, I, I, I wonder sometimes that we're very quick to judge and to call someone out and not knowing what their true intentions are. I know a gentleman who who runs a very large nonprofit? Uh, uh, it's the um, I'm not going to get the name uh, correct, completely correct. I think it's the World Water Foundation or something. And his organization brings water to different places in the world that doesn't that don't have water. I mean, most of us who are watching this video right now, me doing it, and you watching, uh, are in areas where 
it's not even a second thought. You can have water to, to bathe, to drink, to go to the bathroom. But the places that he goes, they don't have water. And we were talking about this one day, uh, recently actually, last week. And there are other people who have foundations like his. His is run a little bit differently. But there are uh, uh, people who have foundations, for instance, some of the Hollywood celebrities, I think Matt Damon or, or somebody has a, has a water foundation. And we're, we were talking about how he likes to uh, present his foundation. He was somebody who was in corporate America, actually in not only corporate America, but international corporation. He ran a multinational corporation. And he was very fortunate and very grateful, very humble and, and, and humbled by how successful he was in life. And he was able to retire early to run this, this organization. And he, does, he is the face of the organization, but he does not want to be that face. He resists it. He has to to, to get uh, uh, money donated for his corporation. His, the companies need to know he's doing that because it does bring money in. But he doesn't want the publicity. Whereas there are some others who we all know, the celebrities who have similar foundations. And we might judge, and I do that, I'm guilty of it, I guarantee you, of judging that doing good or the do-gooders, whatever, as being wanting to be the face of it. They, they want to be it for display purposes. So we can all say, wow, they're such good people. Oh, they're, they're so good, whatever. So it kind of distracts us from some of the other stuff maybe that, are, that isn't so good. However, my point is that here I am quick to judge, but are they still delivering some good? Yes. That PTA mother who maybe I'm judging their intention is just to be grandiose or, or maybe to bring attention to themselves. But are they still doing good? Well, yeah, I think so. This, this person who wants to be, uh, wants to be the do-gooder or to, to want everybody to know, to display that they're doing good, well, yes, actually they are doing some good. They are helping people. So it's very, it's, we must be very cautious about the... Um, to judge what one's intentions are. Because the, the intentions of the person who is doing good, we can't know. We may feel it's for display purposes, and guess what? It may be. They may not even realize it's for display purposes. It, when, when it becomes uh, the, when we're going on a slippery slope, is when those intentions start to be corrupted. And so when that doing good actually corrupts the, the, uh, the, the process of doing it or the outcome because it, is for, it becomes for personal gain. And when it becomes for personal gain, the, uh, the intention actually gets corrupted. And when I say personal gain, the actual act is, 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 is okay. But then you watch the other actions of the person. And if they are affecting other people negatively, then we have to question the intention. Is it for me to, to say, well, they're bad people? No, I won't, won't do that because I guarantee you there are certain things that all of us do that may not be, that could be judged as being not so great. But what are we doing it, for, for self-promotion? Are we doing something for, to, uh, uh, to, to make ourselves look good, better? What's our true intention? Because when we know our true intention, we truly get inside and understand what runs us and what is motivating us. When we know ourselves, it really it frees us up. It enlightens us. It, and not only enlightens us, but it lightens us. It takes a burden off of our back because we really know what we're doing and why we're doing it. And so what does it mean? Look, I have a stethoscope around my neck. I'm a doctor, right? What, why is that important to me? Well, it's important to me because when we don't really know what's driving us, when we really don't understand what's motivating us, what our, our true intentions are, it actually causes changes in our physical body, in the cells in our body. They start sending irregular signals. They start sending signals that can... Sorry about that. A little technical. I was getting a, uh, a text in, <laughs> while I'm broadcasting and it did something funky. I hope that didn't disrupt things too much. But anyway, when we don't know our true intention, it can really cause 
us to feel out of sync. It really can cause us to start judging other people and what their intentions are. It also could cause anger and bitterness. So maybe it's a slam dunk with this pastor and we're all laughing at him and saying that, oh, he's so greedy and he's, uh, he just wants uh, to, uh, to, to get another jet. But what is his intention? Okay, what is he really doing it for? And it, it's, it's our choice whether or not we want to give money to him. And that's, that's our decision. Well, he's putting it out there and he's saying that, uh, the, uh, that God spoke to him that he needs this jet to spread the gospel. Okay, that's what I, I think he really believes that. So if that's his intention, it's, it's, up, it's not up to me to judge him. But what it is up to me is to make a choice whether or not I'm going to contribute to that, which I'm not. Okay, um, so it's our. I think it's much healthier to uh, to internalize our own choices rather than it is to externalize our judgment. So self judgment is more important than judging somebody else. Our own internal choices are much more important. So the uh, um, other aspect of this intention is if we're, if we're doing something to draw attention to ourselves, let's say, if we're doing something to, to, so everybody can say how we're, we're, we're do good, we're, we're somebody who does good and, and to recognize that and to elevate us and to say, oh, what a wonderful person. He does such good. He, she does such good. But that you have to understand also becomes a sacrifice. What is the true sacrifice that one's making? Is the true sacrifice, is it, is it truly because the intention is to, uh, to, be, to draw attention to oneself? Or is the true sacrifice because you, you really feel that you've been fortunate and you've, you've been humbled by your success and now you want to give with no strings attached? Because when you don't understand your intention, you must understand that Self-sacrifice often leads to self-sabotage. And that is truly important to re recognize. Self-sacrifice often leads to self-sabotage. So when we are going and we want to do good, understand that you have to have two feet planted firmly on the ground before you could actually do that. And often people come to me and, and, and say, well, I want to retire, and when I retire, and I ask, what, what are your plans? And, oh, I'm going to volunteer. And that sounds good, but guess what? Even volunteering has a pecking order of power. And when you're volunteering, and you're not getting paid for it, and you're being pushed around, and you're being bossed around, it's not going to feel so good. So you have to be very committed and understand what your intentions are and also have both feet planted on the ground. And what that really means is that you must have the financial resources to remain independent. So that self-sacrifice self doesn't turn into self-sabotage. You must take care, before you could save the world, you must make sure that your own house is in order. And that comes, to, that, that really is, is a very important point because when your own house is not in order, and when you are sacrificing and leading to self-sabotage, it's a setup for getting you sick. And as a doctor, that's the least thing I want you to be. I don't want to take care of you. I want you to be able to take care of yourself. So as you go forward on this week and this magical uh, and, 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 un, and processing the, what I'm saying on this magical Monday broadcast, make sure that you understand your intentions Make sure you understand your motivations. Don't be so concerned about other people's intentions or motivations. Be concerned about your own. Be quick to judge yourself and not others. And by doing that, I really believe that it will set you up for a much more healthy mindset. And with that healthy mindset, it will be able to elevate your body and be strong and being focused and, in, and have you so you really, truly enjoy this week. So until next time, I'm Dr. Charles, a.k.a. Coach MD. Thank you so much for, for taking the time uh, for listening to me. 
and I really truly value what you have to say. So leave your comments and I, I promise you I'm going to go over every single one of them. I really mean that. I love you and God bless you. Bye for now.